Hey everybody. Today I'm using the case when function from the dplyr package to add a column to a data frame based on values from one or more other columns. I am going to be looking at the gradebook data set, which I'll, put to, which I'll post to my GitHub, and I'll put a link to that down below. Here you can see we've got 34 entries, each one representing a student, and in each case we have a numerical score between 0 and 100. What I'd like to do is to get a new column here with a letter grade, and I'd like to give students that have at least a 90 an A, students that have at least an 80 a B, and so on down. Um, so I've pulled up the help file for case when, again that's in the dplyr package, and this is just a generalization of if else. And let me actually make a comment about that. And when I say if else, I mean the literal command if else, which lets you put a conditional, then two values based on whether the conditional is true or false. So it's a, um, an if else statement that's particularly useful when you're making assignments. I have a whole vid on if else statements more generally. I'll put a link to that up top. So uh, how about we call the new one gradebook new. And so I want to take gradebook and I'm going to um, pipe it into a mutate command. And the new column I want is going to be grade. All right. And so uh, here's where I'm going to put in that case when command. And you can see the syntax here, jumping right down to the examples. We're going to start putting a bunch of logical things along with the output if the logical is true. And we're going to separate the logical from the output with a tilde here. So the syntax takes a tiny bit of getting used to, but it's, uh, it's not, un not overly complicated. I'd say it's just about as complicated as it needs to be given what this function does. So grade is being assigned based on this case one. So the first thing that could be happening is that score is at least 90. So score greater than or equal to 90. And in that case, I want to give the value A. So case when is going to output A when this thing is true, and that will then be assigned to grade. All right, but that's not the only condition here that we can have. Um, hang on there. There we go. <laughs> um, did not want to close up that parenthesis right there. So the second condition that could happen is the score being at least 80, in which case I want to give a B. Now, we won't get to this line if the score is above 90. Case when will evaluate this and stop. So a 95, for instance, is going to evaluate A and this line will never happen. So you don't have to worry about um, some sort of and statement, greater than or 80 and less than 90. It's just not necessary. All right, let's do a few more of these, greater than or equal to 70, in which case I want to assign them a C, and greater than or equal to 60, in which case I will assign them a D. All right, everybody else, should fail. There's no E grade at uh, my institution or most American institutions. Um, the syntax here is just to set a default value. And so it's d dot default equals and then F. And so that's going to be assigned. Um, that's what's going to be output by this case when function if none of the other statements in here are true. And I think I need one more close parenthesis for that mutate command. Great, so that should do it. And then let's take a look at our grade book. All right, so we've got the grades here. You can see this 80 was assigned to B, the 66 was assigned to D, let's find an F. So this 49 got an F. There we go, there's a quick example. I'm using the case when function as a generalized if else in R. 